Uh, you can catch that uh, Monday at nine on Channel Four. Uh, we're <laughs> chatting now to comedian. It's literally written right there. But it's like, a, why, why are you questioning? Why are you Monday? It's Monday. It says Monday. Not oh, that, not Sunday. That, it's Monday. Yeah. Oh, it's that sorry. in between. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what I do is I go Monday and then I wait for them in the air to oh. correct me. Because at not. home you look very strange when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Monday. <laughs> like no one's ever heard of Monday before. Oh, oh this is Tom Allen, everyone. Oh, sorry, there we go. He's still here. Yes. Uh, hello. Where am I? We yes. Got, we've got a lot to talk to you about. Yeah. We've, got, we've got to talk about Bake Off the Professional. Oh, I'd love to talk about that. Yeah, we've got to we talk about Ready or Not before that. Like. Most importantly, you went to school with Rob Beckett. Yeah, most importantly, <laughs> I went to school with Rob Beckett, yes. Because you don't um, sound like you came from the same well, town. Indeed, everybody wants to rebel, don't they? And so <laughs> that's what I did. And um, Rob still lives around the corner from me. Uh, well, from, it's actually from my mum and dad. Uh, whose house I live in. But anyway, that's another story. <laughs> but, um, and, and sometimes we get the train together and people stop him a lot for selfies. But I think because I, I, they don't like me as much, so they don't stop me. So I like to photobomb his selfies with a very sort of angle. <laughs> of um, but yeah, no, he's a very good friend and he's been very nice to me. Thanks. What do you want to know? Why? What do you want to know? What do I want to know about him? Yeah. Yeah. He, he's been on here, right? Yeah. Like, Classic yeah. Sunday brunch fodder, I imagine he is. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I go, what's Rob Beckett like? <laughs> I don't know. Ask him. Get him on your show. <laughs> He's a very nice person. You say, uh, you say you're not as popular as him, but your 30 dates of your tour has been extended to 90 dates due to popular demand. Well, I don't like to make a big deal about it, but yes, it has, and now we're extending it into the autumn as well. So, um, so it's going slightly beyond that. So it'll be about, uh, well, at the moment, it's sort of looking about 140, 150 dates. So, um, wow. yeah, I'm absolutely blown away. It's the first time I've ever been on tour. And uh, it's lovely. You know, you go to places you've never been to before. And, like, you, you know, like Stockport has a hat museum. Did you know that? <laughs> Love it. And, um, and I've, been, I've recently learned to drive, so I've been driving myself to a lot of the gigs, which has been exciting. But I don't... I sometimes go in my, my parents' Ford Fiesta Finesse, which they let me borrow, because I'm very glamorous. <laughs> um, or sometimes I, I, I borrow a car, you know, rent one, and then I turned up the, at the rental place, and they said, oh, we've run out of cars. You can go to Birmingham and rent one for £200 a day. Or, and I was like, no, or you can borrow a van for £30 a day. So I took a van out on the road. <laughs> I became a white van man. And, um, and people expect you to be dreadful at driving. You can be very obnoxious, shouting out the window. It's wonderful, one el elbow out, making hand gestures at people. It really is a wonderful experience. If you haven't driven a white van, I do recommend it. What, what's the show about? Do you have a theme or is it just... So um, I talk about, well, I talk about sort of uh, the difficulties of living at home with my parents and the excitement of learning to drive and a few other things uh, and an uh, experience I once had on a hen party. I mean, there's something for everybody. Um, and it's <laughs> really, not a fancy name you know, at all, Tom, because uh, you, all you can use, like, you like a fancy tag title, don't you, for your tours? Do we? It's well, a strange question, lot. Simon, if you don't mind me saying <laughs> <laughs> what, um, what, <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I call mine absolutely because I like to keep it sort of, you know, sort of sums me up, but uh, not, not too specific because, you know... If I called it, like, driving test, I think people would be like, oh, is that, what's it about then? It's it limits about, the content. Uh, limits the content a bit, yeah. Why, what, what sort of fancy names are you thinking of? Well, I mean, no, what do you I call your show, Sunday Brunch? The, yeah, oh, it's... Kind of... His show? I mean, your show. <laughs> <laughs> but I said you're in the, you're in the plural. <laughs> anyway, what, what are you going to ask there, Simon, what? Well, no, that, that was it. it, it Can it, I save you both? It, um... <laughs> <laughs> Off, the professionals. Yes. yes, what do you think about that, eh? I think it's amazing that you've got that job. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a perfect fit. <laughs> um, we had so much fun doing it. Bake Off the Professionals starts next Sunday at 6 pm uh, uh, on Channel 4. And um, we're very. Uh, sorry, 8 pm, sorry, on uh, next Sunday the 6th um, on Channel 4. And it is. It was so much fun to film. We kind of think of it as Bake Off's bitchy older sister. Um, <laughs> in that, you know, like Bake Off, the, the normal Bake Off, as they call it. Uh, they, so, you know, you'd have someone called, like, Maureen from Maidenhead coming in to make some biscuits on some sort of uh, checkered <laughs> tablecloth. We don't have any of that. It's more about, like, what have you done? Why is it wrong? It's disgusting. And they get shouted at and people cry. It's really wonderful fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, we have, and it's still... But I, I think it's, it's still got a lot of the heart and the warmth, I hope, of, of the other Bake Off show, uh, because it's still about, you know, the journeys of these chefs. And, you know, as you see on this show as well, like, chefs, they work so hard. Some of the chefs we've got on there are really young. Some of them moved to the UK without speaking any English. They work their way up into big establishments. And their, their story, their journey is really lovely. And you get to know them and the judges are brilliant. Let's have a look. Here's oh, a, there's here's, a, clip. a clip. Yeah. yeah. At the end of each demanding week, one team... Oh, f 
will be sent home. I'm scared for them. But which of our 12 teams can hold their nerve? Not intense enough. And who will push themselves furthest? Okay, don't cry. As they fight to be crowned champions. Do you think it's gonna hold? I've got faith in you. <laughs> Of Bake Off the Professionals. Oh. This is a bad idea to cover this show. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh! Yeah, super dramatic. So it's got that added sort of energy to it, which perhaps the other show doesn't have so much. And, um, you know, <laughs> and people are like, because it's like, like, it's not like, well, sometimes, you know, I like to make a Victoria sponge for my family. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's fine. But on this one, it's like, it's your life. Like, it's your whole career they work towards, and they just see it sometimes, you know, it goes a little bit wrong, and they have to try and rescue it. It's, they're brilliant. They're all brilliant chefs, and they're so inspiring. And it was great. And I'm working with Liam as well, who people might know from last series of... Uh, the ordinary bake off. Ordinary bake off. They kept calling it the main show. The other one. They kept mm. calling it bake the main show. I said I think we should call it the other show. Or, <laughs> and then I started calling it bake off the unprofessionals. Or, <laughs> bake off the amateurs. So, <laughs> so uh, bake off the amateurs. That you know, that's a different show. But Liam, Liam, you, people might know him from that. And uh, we had a wonderful time working together. And, and uh, he's just such a great guy. I learned such a lot from him because he's just got this natural exuberance about about baking, and he's just a lovely guy. So I think uh, I think oh, together we had so much fun making it and we really hope people get that sense when they watch it at home. I think they'll enjoy it. Excellent. Brilliant. Thanks, Thanks Tom. Tom.